Hey Eagle123 here. Been a few weeks since I've been able to get a video up. I've had a project that's taken me a little bit longer than expected. Uh, so let me show you what that is. This is a 6 volt kids track four wheeler and was given to us for my one year old son and he wasn't quite ready for it so my four year old daughter started riding it a little bit. Now it's a little bit too small for her uh, and it definitely goes pretty slow. I decided to plug in a 18 volt lithium ion battery from a cordless drill impact driver. I wanted to see if it would give me a little bit more power, a little bit more speed. And it did. And the first voyage of that, my daughter shoots across the driveway and ends up in the street and all sorts of craziness. Um, so I knew I needed something a little bit better, but so we kept using it and ended up burning up the motor. So I had to get a new motor. So this is the six volt motor that came with it, came on it. Uh, all, that's all it is that drives this little thing. And this one is a six volt. It spins at uh, 13,000 RPM. And I thought maybe I could just find another one of these on eBay. And so I ordered one that I thought would fit uh, the distance here. Uh, I could take the gear off, put the new gear on, and I thought it would screw in. Well, I measured incorrectly, and the new motor was quite a bit bigger and didn't work. So, I ordered this motor from Amazon, and it is a 6-volt, 12-volt, 18-volt. It can work at any of those voltages, and it spins a little bit quicker. This one spins at 15,000 RPM. It can handle the cordless drill battery at 18 volts. So uh, I had to do quite a bit of uh, uh, fabrication in order to make this fit. But <laughs> this is actually a spare. They actually sent me two accidentally. So I have an extra one. The other one I have mounted up in here. And I had to do some fabrication to get it all to line up. But this right here is the, the new motor. I also wanted a way to control that speed because I knew it would be way too fast for my little one-year-old once he got to ride it. So uh, after a little bit of research, I found a little speed controller and I've got it wired in and it allows me to adjust the speed and all the way actually off and then low and then speeding up into medium and then all the way around for maximum speed. Now this motor, along with the 18 volts, really gets after it. And this thing will do a burnout um, if you're on the right type of pavement. And it'll also pop a wheelie if you uh, pop it up against something and you lean back on it. So thankfully she doesn't know how to do those tricks yet, so it's pretty safe. But I have this wired up where just these leads like this. And the cool thing is, is that they fit right in to the slots here on my battery. So positive just slides in right there negative slides in and we've got power that I can control here so let me turn it down now all this just fits right in here like it's like it's made to go there it doesn't have reverse it only has forward that's all the way off and then turn it up a little bit real slow and then you can crank it all the way up and it really gets after it so it'll jerk, it jerks her back a little bit when I have it cranked all the way up. I usually let her run somewhere right into there. But anyway, I wanted to share this project with you. Uh, this kid track six volt is like $40, $50 at Walmart. Uh, again, it was a gift to us and I've got $11 in the motor and $9 in the speed controller. I used wire and connections that I already had. So um, it wasn't hard to fix this thing up for just a little bit of money and now it's actually quite a bit more usable than before. This is the old 6 volt battery here that I took out. Uh, this battery is still good. I'll keep it for something. I don't know. Maybe I can run a trail cam off of it or something. Um, but this thing takes so long to charge. It, it takes like 8 hours to charge. 
And so being able to, I've got three of these. I could actually put one in my pocket and we could go out in the neighborhood and just swap them out when the other one dies and they recharge in just a couple hours. So anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. If you have any questions or whatever, give me a shout. I'll see if I can answer them for you. It's all pretty straightforward wiring. I, I don't really have a way to um, tell you exactly how to do it because yours is probably going to be a little bit different. But this would definitely work on a Power Wheels. Uh, it would definitely work on some of the off-brand ones. This is an off-brand Walmart one. Uh, it's got the mossy oak on it. I guess they added some camo stickers on there. But simple job and actually makes it a little bit better to use. Thanks for watching. Eagle Run 2-3. I plugged in a 18 volt lithium ion from a uh, from a cordless drill and it burned the motor up. So I bought a new motor and I installed it and I also added a speed controller so we can adjust the speed. Right now it's on medium. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Let's turn it down just a little bit. We can always turn it back up. It is way faster than it used to be and this is the first voyage with the new motor and I've got test pilot Lydia here. She's got her helmet on. She's wearing no shoes. We're going to give it a shot. All right, hop on.